Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here today to bless the 195th Safe Haven Baby Box in the nation and the 113th in the state of Indiana. My name is Mariah Betts. I am the Development Coordinator for Safe Haven Baby Boxes. Monica Kelsey started Safe Haven Baby Boxes after learning she was abandoned as an infant and after seeing a baby box in operation at a church in Cape Town, South Africa, she had made it her personal mission to educate others on the Safe Haven Law and do whatever it takes to save the lives of innocent babies from being abandoned. I'm sorry Monica couldn't be here today as she had a personal matter to attend to. I started volunteering with Monica back in 2016 before she installed the first baby box. I met Monica through the fire department that she served on with my husband. When she told me her idea, I just knew I had to help with it. Now, I don't have a backstory like Monica, but I'm very passionate about giving mothers another option to surrender their babies anonymously, safely, and lovingly. To date, we have had 38 babies surrendered in our safe haven baby boxes, and we have helped over 140 parents surrender in person, hand-to-hand, -hand, in multiple states. Thank you to Center Township Fire Department for giving families another option to safely surrender their newborns. Next, I will bring up Cody Seymour, the fire chief. Hello, uh, my name is Cody Seymour. I'm the fire chief for Center Township Fire Department. I uh, just have a few words to thank a few people that made this all come together. Uh, I'm grateful to be able to serve the com our community if the needs have to happen for the new baby box. Um, I would like to thank a few people. First off, I'd like to thank Trustee Sampson for seeing the need and wanting to make Center Township another location for the baby box to better serve the community and the communities that surround us. I'd also like to thank Jerry Seymour Construction for properly installing the baby box. Uh, IMI of Lebden for donating the concrete uh, to make our sidewalk to go that leads up to the baby box. And then Course and Fire for installing the fire alarm system that dispatches. Lastly, I'd like to thank the on-duty crews that assisted with all the projects. Uh, they assisted in pouring concrete, um, finishing the room that the baby box is in, and doing all the testing that led up to the baby box. Um, thank you. That's all I got. Uh, next up is Trustee Sanderson. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Uh, as everyone else has said, so I'll say it a third time. So uh, today is a, is a pretty special day. And by supporting this installation of the Safe Haven Baby Box, uh, we send a clear message to our community that we value every life. And we are committed to providing a safe and supportive environment for all. This initiative is a testament to our collective commitment and to the well-being of each and every person. I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the Center Township Fire Department. Their willingness and dedication to this matter demonstrates their true spirit of service. And we thank you for your unwavering commitment to the safety and well-being of our community. I'm pleased to share that this initiative was made possible through a collaborative effort. The installation was funded by both funds from the township residents' contributions and a township assistance fund. It reflects the unity and shared responsibility that we all bear as citizens in our community. In conclusion, let us come together to embrace this initiative with open hearts and open minds. The installation of this box here at the fire department is not just a physical structure, but it's about building a community that prioritizes com compassion, understanding, and the safety of our most vulnerable community members. It is a, in a world where compassion, public safety, and township assistance, community involvement, inter all intertwine into one, this initiative holds the potential to make a profound impact on the lives that matter the most. As we all know, life often takes unexpected turns and some find themselves in a desperate situation with very limited options. I'm thankful to the Indiana legislative to, legislative to provide laws that provide protections for the mothers and the Safe Haven Baby Box to provide a compassionate, safe alternative for mothers facing a very difficult decision. As a community, 
we are known for always being at the forefront of our commu of communityness and the safetyness and public safety. By installing this safe haven baby box, we extend our commitment to protecting the most vulnerable among us. The safe haven baby box is not just a physical container. I'm repeating myself there. Pardon me. But I, again, I appreciate all the work that's been put into this. And I, we all hope and pray that this, uh, doesn't have to happen and we hope that at some point uh, that we these baby boxes uh, are, are if they have to be utilized are utilized in a safe manner uh, and I just want to thank everyone for being a part of it next I have a pastor Craig to say a few words oh I'm sorry Miss Linda I'm sorry. That's fine. thank you thank you <laughs> yeah. thank you so as founder of He Knows Your Name, I celebrate that I passionately support Safe Haven Baby Box as a life-saving option for at-risk moms and at-risk babies. And all of you first responders are here. I just thank you guys for doing the work you're doing. You are really the foundation of all of our communities across the state and across our country. So I'm so proud of you, Lebanon, Indiana. Thank you for all the collaborative work you guys have all done to, from funding to executing this. And it's never a surprise to me that in a community, how many businesses and people come alongside this movement to make sure that there's a baby box put in the counties in our state and across our country. This is, like Mariah said, the 195th box in our country. That is worth celebrating. It's the 113th box in our state. And we are all together making a huge statement that we believe every life matters. The Bible says that I will not leave you as orphans. I will come for you. That heart of rescue was what Jesus had to say. It's what Monica and I have to say. And it's why we support this initiative. It is so important that we drive down the numbers of infant mortality through the use and promotion of this box. Educating and raising awareness is at the heart of the safe haven law. And when we do these dedications, that's what we're all about. We're saying this is the provision by our communities to support moms in crisis. Nine years ago today, I introduced the world to baby Amelia. Nine years ago tomorrow, I met Monica Kelsey. I wish she was here today, Monica. I'd give you a big squeeze and say we have been friends and companions in the mission for raising awareness to the safe haven law for nine years. We need to do something special next year for sure. Community support was huge when I carried baby Amelia's casket into the chapel for her funeral. You see, she was abandoned at Eagle Creek Park in Indianapolis and found by a hiker on December 28, 2014. No fragile infant can ever survive a cold winter night left alone, placenta and umbilical cord and all. That baby was found just two miles from a fire station. When we think about where two miles is from here, it's not very far. But there were tire tracks right up to where the baby was which indicates maybe there was a vehicle, right? I just don't think that poor mom knew there was a safe haven law that she could have exercised her rights under because criminal behavior leads to abandonment. And we want to educate and say, no, moms, you have another option, and that is safe surrender under the safe haven law, but also anonymous safe surrender with the baby box. In the state of Indiana, a mom or dad has 30 days to surrender a child to a safe place. Every mother in crisis needs not just options, but she needs to know her options. When a baby Amelia was found wrapped in a blue sweatshirt, the emblem on the sweatshirt said Vincent University Aviation Department, and that's how I knew I would name her Amelia. And I knew at the time, from a whisper of God's voice, that she would defend the safe haven law. And honestly, it surprises me to stand here today, nine years later, and know, in fact, that is exactly what her legacy is. I am her voice, and I carry her legacy. And I take this very seriously. Because the profound legacy of this baby 
Monica Kelsey's passion, my work for the Safe Haven Law, has meant that we have not had a deceased baby found in the state of Indiana in nine years. You guys, celebrate that with me. Right. It's amazing. You guys, no other state can say this. Abandonment is happening all over our country. No one can say that the Safe Haven Baby Box originated in their state and has this many boxes. We are leading the way and we are being the greatest champions in our country for this law. Every mama has to use her own feet to carry herself and her baby to safety for a box, which is on the north side of this building. When I drove in here and saw the box, I came off 65, one little ramp, and I was here. This location is prime for any mother who might need this as a resource. Uh, every mother who chooses to carry and give her child a future uh, chooses adoption because that's what this option is. It's a beautiful step towards safety and life. Medical care, a name, a forever family, and hope for a future are waiting in the Safe Haven Baby Box. And I believe that a Safe Haven Baby Box is a birthday party waiting to happen. Thank you. Pastor Craig is going to bless the box in here where it's warm and toasty, so here he goes. During the month of January, uh, millions of Americans celebrate, uh, champion, and intentionally reflect on the value of every human life. Uh, the value of life from the oldest uh, to the youngest, uh, from the womb uh, to the tomb, as some have said. Baby boxes all across our state and nation honor and support the value of every human life. They celebrate the value of the human life of the infant that has been surrendered and the value of the one in crisis who's made the difficult decision to surrender their child. I'm grateful for Center Township leading the effort to provide a safe haven baby box. I'm grateful to our firefighters, our EMTs, our paramedics, who will be the first to welcome the child into the environment. I look forward to a day when our community and its leaders work to reduce the cost of living and other vulnerabilities that contribute to the crisis that some of our young mothers and parents find themselves in. This is a critical and significant and inspiring step and now that we have this in place, let's work together to reduce other factors that contribute to the desperate decision uh, that one has to make to surrender their child. I am grateful most of all to our God, our God who has formed each and every one of us in his image. Our God who instills value in every human life. And it's for his honor and his glory that I'd like to lead us in this prayer of blessing and dedication uh, for this baby box. Mighty God, giver and sustainer of life. We recognize that you have created us in your image. You knit each of us together in our mother's wombs. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Each day of our lives has been ordained and recorded by you before even one of them has come to pass. And as we ask for your blessing, your watch care, and your provision through this baby box, we first praise your name. And now we ask for you to bless this safe haven. We ask that you would use this humble box to provide safety, to provide rescue, and to provide a doorway to a new chapter in, life, in the life of both the infant and the one who surrenders the child. May your protection, care, love, and compassion cover this safe haven. May that same protection, care, love, and compassion extend to the infant it temporarily shelters and the parent who has placed the child there. May that same protection, care, and love, and compassion extend to the firefighters, paramedics, and EMTs who welcome the child into their care. And may that protection, care, love, and compassion extend beyond this place to the health care providers and the child's new family. We ask your continued blessing on this baby box today. And as we humbly ask for your blessing, may we each commit to listening to you looking to you and allowing you to guide us into honoring the value of every human life we encounter. Amen. 
Thank you for being here today. If we were here five months, Kelsey would take the keys and she would unlock the box. So I make the announcement on her behalf that this box is ready for any mother who needs this resource. Please also note that going to shbb.org provides more resources through the Safe Haven box and also the hotline, which is something anyone in the whole country can call. So Monica likes to say no shame, no blame, and no names. So opening the box on her behalf, virtually, um, the box is ready to go. Thank you, Lebanon. Thank you, Boone County. Thank you, Central Township. This has just been a beautiful time together. And bless all of you and stay warm. Thank you.